I've been doing a good amount of digital art lately, so I figured I would share some more of my iPad Procreate speed paints with you guys. And as per usual, this are, these are just like the pre-recorded footage that the app Procreate like records on its own. This isn't a speed paint thing where I am actually drawing it on camera. It's stuff that I've drawn on my free time and I'm just sharing the footage of it because I have the footage. And I actually didn't know if I was going to do a lot more of these videos, but my last one did fairly well. So it obviously looks like something you guys are interested in seeing. So here's this for you. I actually recorded this video technically twice and I wanted to record it again, but uh, instead of having my landscape, instead of having my landscape, instead of, instead of having my iPad in portrait, I wanted to do it landscape because my last one I did in landscape, totally forgot about that. I wanted to re-record this, but I can't do it today and I don't really have time to do it later. So you're just getting it in portrait. Otherwise, I might not be able to post a video this week. So. <laughs> You're getting it this way. I apologize, especially considering a lot of the art that I'm creating in this one is landscape, so you would have been able to see a little bit better, but let's let's not let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the art. This the one that's on the screen right now is actually probably my least favorite out of the bunch. Uh I had a very, very strong and deep how to train your dragon phase when I wanted to get more comfortable drawing toothless. And I don't know, I just don't really like the colors of that one. But we're on to the next one, so that's okay. This is, this drawing for me, uh, I just kind of wanted to redraw something I had drawn traditionally a couple years ago. I didn't really intend for it to be anything I was really happy with, I, I didn't have many expectations for it. I just really liked the concept of the original piece that I had drawn probably like two or three years ago. I don't recall when it was. A lot of these speed paints are kind of old by like a couple months. but. I ended up really liking how this one turned out. This one in particular was kind of like, um, I would say it's a turning point for me for digital art. I found a coloring style that I really, really enjoy. It's, I don't want to say it's more of a painterly look because obviously when I, when I do digital art, it's not a painting style. At least I don't really like care to do that at the time being. I say I don't care to do it, but it's a lot of work and I'm fairly lazy when it comes to digital art, so I don't really want to do it right now, but I found a coloring style that I really, really like. It's just using the technical pencil with some different brush settings on there. I changed it up a bit from the original technical brush and it just, I use it for shading the skin mainly and then I also use it a tiny, tiny bit on the hair, but then I go in detail with like drawing strands in the hair, which again, not super realistic, but I really like the way it was colored. And so I took that into pretty much every other thing that I'm showing within this video for that coloring style. I just, I really like the way it looks. It adds so much like depth to it. It adds, ugh, it just looks really nice. I'm very happy with that, especially considering like when it comes to digital art, like I said, I'm fairly lazy with it and I, I wasn't super comfortable with digital art as a whole because like honestly my least favorite thing about digital art would have to be coloring. I used to I used to hate coloring in every way shape and form but now I really like coloring for watercolors and I like doing it for Copics as well. Uh, but when it comes to digital art, the well, line work has weirdly always been my favorite part about doing digital art, which I know sounds weird. I know a lot of people prefer coloring just because it really brings the piece to life, and I completely agree with that. I think coloring really makes a piece, like, pop and just look better. But that being said, I don't know why. I've just never enjoyed the coloring process. To me, it just takes so much time, and it's a pain in the butt, and I mean, Given the way I color, especially on Procreate, I don't like individually like lock out a shape and then drop color in there. I duplicate the layer of the line work and then I drop color within that. And I have to tweak it a bit, especially if I want to change the color of the line work of the layer above it, the original line work layer. It's a process, but that's the way I color. And even then it just like, it takes so long for me to color, but I have finally found a way that I enjoy coloring. Honestly, it's just fun. I really get excited about, especially doing the skin because I can play around with it a lot. Something I'm not a huge fan of is on my iPad screen, when I'm doing like blush tones on a skin, on a skin, <laughs> blush tones on a skin, when I'm doing blush on skin tones, it doesn't look super bright or like 
oversaturated on my iPad and then when I go to put the image on my phone to post to Instagram or wherever it's such a bright and saturated like blush tone so I really need to tone it down like I really like this fruits basket piece I ended up doing it was a redraw of a wall scroll I had for the longest time and I still have in my closet but like when I went to put this image on my phone I was like oh my god their blush tones are so saturated that looks so weird so for me, that's something I really need to keep in mind because uh, that is not what I want. The colors do appear quite different between my iPad screen versus my phone screen and my computer screen. My phone and my computer are pretty similar, but the iPad, oof, <laughs> have to get used to that. But those were the five speed paints that I included in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I will definitely have more of these to come. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.